Can this be the AI video version of Canva? And as solopreneurs, people who are team of one, everybody loves Canva. With all the different templates that it gives for whether you're doing social media posts, flyers, newsletters, email cover, it does it all. And it seems as if this AI tool that we're about to show has hundreds of video templates that you can use. So let me get you tapped into this video that I did about Flex Clip. Let me show you. Today we're gonna go over Flex Clip. I can't even tell you I know a lot about this. They said they came into the to the email like, yo, please go over this. You feel me? Please go over this. So off of first glance, this looks like Canva for videos. Okay? This is like Canva for videos. So it has a lot of templates, like a lot of templates that you can do for videos, which is cool. Um, I think this is going to be amazing for those who are getting started and probably in the mid level because it has like intros, right? And, and we can go more into the templates. Um, so they have the most popular ones up top. So we have a corporate promo, we got wedding, we got, looks like, I don't know, a story type. This is like a logo opener. So yeah, this is, this is Canva, but pure video styles. But let's see what else does it have. And then we're going to try one. Okay, we're going to try one. So this also has an AI video generator, AI audio subtitles, AI text to, to speech, translator, video script, record voice, and then record screen or webcam. Okay. All right. So let's try out one of these, one of these templates. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, let's go with a logo. Let's go with a simple joint. Okay. So you could do this. It looks like you could do this in a horizontal vibe. You could do this in a story vibe, vertical, and then you could do this in a square vibe. So let's do, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's try it. This would be really cool for some of your intros or some of your outros. So let's see if I can find a logo. I use my Nikki logo. So we got the lion, shout out to lion's behavior. Everybody in the chat put the lion emoji or put LB for uh, lion's behavior. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, okay, I got the media. Do we add that? Ooh, why are we so, I don't want this. No, I don't want, uh, I don't want this like, do we, how do we add the logo? We just drag it. Okay. Okay. So you drag it there. All right. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I don't like that green. Why we got that green joint? All right. Let me take that off. Hmm. Does it mean to be green? Maybe I do this over. Hmm. Next. Edit your timeline. Export and share. Cool. Maybe I gotta start this over. Let's start this over. Um, let's start this over. Let's do this one. Same kind of vibes. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to do the lion to replace. Okay. Drag the media from the library on top of the existing one to replace it. Okay. Got it. So I do have to drag it. Boom. All right. So let's start it. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay, we had a glitch on the first one. The Oh, oh, get back. Okay. I'm not mad at that. And then we'll export it. We could do 4K vibes. We could do 1080. We can make it into a GIF. I'm not mad at this. I like the options that it has. 
If I just wanted the the sound of it, I can make it a uh, MP3 player, uh, MT, MP3 uh, file. So let's just do 1080 because 1080 is fine. All right, one to ten, how we feel about this. One to ten. That was really quick. We 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 had to do anything crazy. We had to do nothing wild. And I'm just gonna give you. And this is no no affiliate, no nothing, because I'm I'm purely trying this out. I'm purely trying this out. So this is called Flex Clip. So this is the AI video generator, and it could do AI text to video, which generates videos from a text prompt, or you can do an article URL to video. Let's do, hmm, uh, how to create content as a beginner. Beginner, right? Let's do, let's just do, do this as a text. Let's see. I did a simple I want to do a simple prompt because nine out of 10 times people do simple prompts. So I want to see how it takes that. Okay, here we go. That was quick. Um, that was very quick. How does this work? So hold on. So it already comes up with different scenes. It says voiceover. Here's the script. So the, the voice is Jenny. If I wanted to change that, I can. I could turn Jenny sounds like this. Many think that the people you list as references are already cued to say nice things. Let's do Ava. The name Dottle was derived from the Spanish and Catalan language meaning. Yeah, Andrew. Sure. Here are some possible slogans for a school. Unlock your potential. Feel the zest of the tropics. The world of literature opens doors to new world. Let's try Brian. I like Brian. And it has voice styles, which is. Assistant chat, customer service, newscast, angry, cheerful, sad, excited, friendly, terrified, shouting, unfriendly, whispering, and hopeful. Let's do, let's do excited. I'm so excited to taste your co- Let's not. That was a little bit too much. <laughs> a little bit too much. All right, let's do friendly. I'm really looking forward to your birthday party. Let's try friendly. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So the script says, welcome to the guide of creating content as a beginner. First, identify your niche. What are you passionate about? Research your audience. What do you, who do you want to reach? Choose your right format, blog post, video, social media, what suits you best. Plan the content calendar. Consistency is key. I really like the script. Hold on. Create your first piece of content. Start simple. Use tools and resources to enhance your content. Don't hesitate. Edit and polish your... This is really good. This is really, really good. So it says add to timeline. Uh, okay, let's add after an existing scene. Uh, I don't even know if I had an existing scene. Um, so far, I can see that it picks generic stuff, but this, this is quick. This is really quick. So I don't like that text. Can it change the text already? I don't know. But let's see what it says. Welcome to your guide on creating content as a beginner. First, identify your niche. What are you passionate about? Research your audience. Who do you want to reach? Okay, hold on. Because that, that audio and the that music is loud. Um, Can we... Can we audio? Here we go. Can we lower it? Can we lower this? Uh, audio settings. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, let's lower that a little bit. That was really loud. That was really loud. All right, let's try this again. Welcome to your guide on creating content as a beginner. First, identify your niche. What are you passionate about? Research your audience. Who do you want to reach? Choose the right format, blog posts, videos, or social media. What suits you best? Plan your content calendar. Consistency is key. Create your first piece of content. Start simple. Use tools and resources to enhance your content. Don't hesitate. 
edit and polish your content for quality. It's worth it. Share your content on appropriate platforms. Get it out. Engage with your audience. Building community matters. Gather feedback and improve your future content. Learn and grow. Stay motivated and keep creating consistently. You got this. Remember, practice makes perfect. Each piece of content is a step forward. Thank you for watching. Now go and create. All right, one to ten. What do we think about this? What, are, what, what do we think about this? Now, the fact that I can, I can replace the media, right? I can replace the media. I could change the, the voice. The fact that I gave it a very simple prompt. It came up with that script. The B-roll that it uses is decent, right? It's decent. I think with a, a bit more detail and being able to switch out the content. I'm not mad at this. It has potential. Is it there? No. But is this really good for beginners? Absolutely. Is it good for like middle, uh, middle tier? No, nah, probably not. But if you get more detail, it possibly could, right? I see this, uh, if you have a community, this could work for your private community. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly really impressed for the speed that it did that. Cause remember we're doing this live. This is not something that I already have pre-made. This is not something that I thought about. I'm literally doing this on the fly and it came up with that video in a matter of a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Can you give it screens like videos to actually match the content explained? Yes. So if you saw earlier, you can switch out the content based off what they gave. And then I could probably, if I go back, right? If I go back, mm -mm -mm. so let's go to media. I wonder, mm -mm -mm. just, just curious. Choose the wait, wait. Shh. So I could upload files and I could record files, but let's say once I upload, let me, let me see if I can upload something real quick. Let me see. I don't think I can. Uh, let's do, let me do this real quick. Add that. Can I replace it? Uh, I don't know if I can replace it. Add as a layer. So I can put it over and I can't, I'm doing this live, so I don't know how to fix this. How to replace it, replace it. Welcome to your guide on creating content as a beginner. First, I oh, yeah, that's there we go. You can replace it based off stuff that you upload. There's probably a better way. But like I said, uh, I got to mess with it a little bit more. But you can replace the media, whether you go from their library or you use your own library. So like I said, it, it's it saves time from coming up with a script. And maybe some of the basics of creating the video. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. All right. So let's go more. Let's do, let's do one more before we get into the music. And then I want you guys to rate this. All right. So we've seen all the others. The auto the subtitle, text to speech, video script. I think the, the, the best part about this is the videos that it can create like Canva. So I'm, I'm not going to go too, too deep on the other tools that it has, but let's look at, let's look at another popular one. Let's see. Uh, this one has a slideshow. Okay. So, and this one, let's try the slideshow. Customize this. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, do I have? I don't know if I have pictures, pictures. If I did, we're just gonna pick some random stuff. I'm gonna pick some random. Open. I got the most random stuff in there. Really? I got some most random stuff. How hard this is to do. So, that's. Oh, okay. You gotta break it. Oh, this looks a little bit more complicated than 
than normal. Let's see. Can we just... Okay. And then... Oh, you gotta drag it? Oh, this... Okay, this is actually really simple. This is actually really simple. Okay. Very easy. Oh yeah, this is simple. This is simple. This is simple. I'm I'm kind of impressed how simple this is. Really, really simple. If I was just nothing to worry about with this. This is dope. I, I can see I can see us getting more into this. I can see us getting more into it. We went through a logo opener. We went through a simple slideshow. Okay. I just dragged and dropped, and it looks a little bit like play. Now, granted, like I said, I'm doing this really quick. I like the drag and drop feature. You see, cousin Ed said the same thing, drag and drop. If this particular one really focuses more on the video side of these templates, where Canva is an all-in-one. Canva does the static photos, does the videos, does AI, does all these different things. I do know if you concentrate on one thing, it outperforms the ones that are concentrating on all of them. So keep that in mind. So if you already have Canva, I'm not going to say let go of Canva yet for this situation. We still got to do some more testing, but I think this is worthy of doing some more testing. You feel me?